Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Born the Builder here. Today I'm taking you on an exclusive tour of one of Japan's most incredible engineering marvels, the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. The Akashi Kaikyo Bridge once held the title of the longest suspension bridge in the world, for going all the way up to the top of one of its towers. Get ready for some breathtaking views and some mind-blowing facts about this record-breaking structure. The Akashi Kaikyo Bridge stretches over the Akashi Strait, and it connects one of Japan's main four islands, Awaji Island, to the main island, Honshu, through a city called Kobe. The length of suspension bridges are measured by the central span, which is the distance between the two towers. Suspension bridges have the longest span of any type of bridge, and in my opinion, that's exactly what makes them so aesthetically pleasing. So I'm over at Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. This bridge held the record for longest suspension bridge for since 1998 until 2022. So beautiful. Let me just turn the camera for you. The Akashi Kaikyo Bridge once held the title of the longest suspension bridge in the world from 1998 to 2022. It measures 1,991 meters or 6,532 feet. That's almost twice the length of the Golden Gate Bridge's central span in America. One interesting fact about this bridge is that it was originally designed to only be 1,990 meters long. Where did the one meter length come from? On January 19, 1995, tragedy struck Japan when the Great Hanshin Earthquake occurred. The earthquake was recorded to have a magnitude of 7.3 on the Richter scale. It was so strong, it actually moved the towers apart by one meter, which is approximately three feet during construction. Instead of rebuilding, the engineers adjusted the design to accommodate the shift. That's some next level problem solving. Now. I've climbed Mount Fuji, which is the highest point in Japan, but the towers on the Akashikaikyo Bridge look really high in person. I couldn't believe we would be climbing up there. This climb isn't for the faint-hearted. We're going up to a height of 289 meters, approximately 948 feet above the sea. That's about the height of an 80-story building. Fun fact, remember the earthquake that extended this bridge by one meter? This bridge is built to withstand earthquakes up to a magnitude of 8.5 and typhoon winds of over 290 kilometers per hour or 180 miles per hour. That's some serious engineering at work. <laughs> we are now at the top. So, we are now 298 meters above sea level. And this is the center. Yeah. Whoa. Beautiful, right? Yep. You can see the entire Akashi Strait and the city of Kobe in a distance. This is one of the most spectacular views in Japan, in my opinion. It really makes you appreciate the sheer scale and precision of this engineering masterpiece. We made it up here. If you're afraid of heights, this is not a place you come to. It's 289 meters above the sea level. Now this is the center of the bridge. And if you've been through here, you'll see the view and the like. So, as I said, this bridge connects the two islands, but mainly this smaller island. We walked one kilometer to get to the bottom of this tower from the anchor house and it's very windy it's scary of course you can see that so there are cars passing at the bottom and then there are boats and ships passing then you can see the city in the background before the climb we took a tour of the bridge museum where they explained exactly how the suspension bridge works and how the Akashi Kaikyo bridge was constructed. A suspension bridge works by transferring the load of the deck onto the main cable through suspender cables. The main cable then passes over the towers on a saddle and is fixed tightly in anchorage. This is a sample of 
the cable. So you can see each cable has wires. So each each segment, each segment has wires, strands. The main cables are made of high tensile steel cables, which are strung together and bundled. The length of each of the main cables on the Akashi Kaikyo bridge is 4,070 meters. The total length of the bridge is 3,911 meters. Construction of the Akashi Kaikyo bridge began in 1986 and took 12 years to complete. Just think of the kind of challenges they had to overcome back in the 80s and 90s, long before advanced technologies we take for granted today. There was very little room for error. One miscalculation could have meant disaster. Constructing the 60 meter deep foundation of the towers took four years, while the construction of the anchorages, which were being built simultaneously, took five years. Man, what an experience it was. Climbing to the top of the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge is something I'll never forget. Oh yeah, one more fun fact. The Akashi Kaikyo Bridge is called the Pearl Bridge because of its glowing lights and the region's history of pearl cultivation. The shimmering design and local tradition came together to give this engineering marvel an elegant nickname. Alright guys, that's it for today's adventure. If you enjoyed this climb and want to see more engineering explorations, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other places you'd love me to see and visit. Until next time, Born the Builder signing out. After a long day, it's time to cool down, some ice cream. This guy is jealous because he didn't get any snow more. You know, in life, sometimes people be jealous of you. Can I ruin your video now with the audio? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, day is finally done. It was a great tour. And yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs>